Okay, so a lot of people are going to be shocked that they're going to get this simple basic math problem wrong, even if they use a calculator. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. So we have the square root of 64 divided by 1 half times 2. Now we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 8, B is 16, C is 32, and D is the square root of 64. Now try to do this problem without a calculator, but if you think you really need one, either way, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you're frustrated with math, or if you really want to understand the subject, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so before I show you the answer, let's take another look at this question. So it seems like a pretty straightforward problem. Doesn't seem to be that difficult. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know I got the right answer. So if your answer is eight, unfortunately, that is wrong. The correct answer is C, which is 32. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I plugged this in to my uh, calculator and it told me eight. Well, there's a reason why it told you eight, and that is wrong. Of course, I'm going to get to all of this in just one second, but uh, if you got 32 and you're totally confident in terms of uh, you know the steps you took to get the right answer, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And uh, again, if you got this wrong, no big deal. I'm going to go through it right now. Okay, so here is our problem. Now, the thing that we need to understand is that we have division and multiplication here. We have a fraction and we have a square root. So let's start with this square root right here. So the square root of 64 is what? Well, let's take a simple example like the square root of four. So the square root of a number is a number such that when you multiply it by itself, you get back to the number that's underneath the square root. So what number times itself gets us back to uh, four? Well, of course, that's going to be two, right? Because two times two is four. So the square root of 64 is a number such that you multiply it, uh, multiply it by itself gets us back to 64. Well, of course, that number is going to be eight. So eight times eight is 64. All right, now there's more I want to talk about in terms of square roots, but uh, that's kind of enough for right now because a lot of you already probably know that the square root of 64 is eight. So you might look at this problem like, all right, let me see here, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, one half times two or one half of two, that's one. So maybe this is like the square root of 64 divided by one. So maybe the answer is simply the square root of 64. Well, that's a pretty good guess. Unfortunately, that's wrong. And again, a lot of you plug this into your calculator and you got eight, and this is wrong in terms of this problem right here. So the correct answer again is 32. Okay, so uh, there's multiple different things that we need to talk about in this problem. But uh, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the order of operations. Okay, so we have this little acronym here called PEMDAS, and let's just do a little pop quiz and see how well you understand the order of operations. So without using a calculator, go ahead and tell me the correct answer to this problem right here. So we have 10 divided by two times five. All right, so if you have your answer, put that into the comment section. So for those of you that answered one as your answer, well, congratulations that you found this video because that answer is wrong. Now, how could someone come up with one? Well, they're gonna go like this. Well, let me see here, two times five, that is 10. So 10 divided by 10 is one. So that seems pretty logical. Matter of fact, two times five is in fact 10 and 10 divided by 10 is one. So the steps that I did here are correct. However, the order I did this problem is wrong. Okay, that's why we need to understand the order of operations. The correct answer actually is the following. We have to do division first, so that's gonna be 10 divided by two, that is five, five times five is 25. All right, now if you got 25 and you didn't get lucky, well, you definitely got yourself another little happy face, so congratulations. But, uh, you know, this little pop quiz here, 
is just an illustration of how important it is to do a math problem in the right order. Because if we take the wrong order, we're going to get the wrong answer. Okay, so let's do a quick review of the order of operations. And uh, you can kind of remember the order of operations with this acronym right here called PEMDAS. Now, in mathematics, an operator or a mathematical operation is things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even powers. Okay, so before I tell you what these letters stand for, let me give you a quick little uh, memory aid, a kind of a mnemonic to remember, uh, remember, excuse me, PEMDAS, and that is the following. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics. Now, all jokes aside, let's get into this PEMDAS. Okay, so the first thing is P. So if your math problem has any parentheses, but not just these type of parentheses, you can have brackets like this or these type of squiggly brackets. These are what we call grouping symbols. So if I have like three divided by, or three times, uh, let's say two divided by seven plus one, See, I can group these numbers together in all different sorts of ways. I could put some parentheses right here. So if I do this, well, PEMDAS says start here. Do what's inside of the parentheses first. Or I could group the numbers this way, okay, with these type of brackets. So this would be 2 divided by 7. Well, i got to start here. So that's what uh, the P stands for uh, in PEMDAS. Now, here is kind of another additional detail. Uh, with the uh, parentheses and PEMDAS, and that is if you have a math problem with parentheses and then like, let's say some brackets like this and another set of brackets, what you're going to do is start with the innermost parentheses, do all that math, and then just kind of work your way out from there. Okay, so that's what uh, P stands for. Again, it's parentheses or grouping symbols. All right, so E stands for exponents. So if you have like two to the third power, this little number in the top right is called an exponent. This big number down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. So two times two times two, of course, is eight. So you could, again, you could think of E as powers. Now, one interesting thing that we need to understand about uh, square roots, like the square root of 64, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, where do square roots come in in terms of the order of operations? Well, the square root is 64. You can actually write it this way, 64 to the 1 half power. So if you didn't know that um, the square root of a number is the same thing as taking that number to the 1 half power, well, now you know. So you're going to do your square roots at this step right here, the E part of the order of operations. Okay, so let's move on to our next step. Matter of fact, let me put this uh, problem back up here, uh, 10 divided by 2 times 5. And let me tell you what these letters stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, look here, your own checklist says that you have to do multiplication first. So don't we need to start right here, uh, 2 times 5? And uh, isn't the answer going to be 1? Well, no, that is not right. Now, this is where people get a little frustrated with the order of operations. And I don't think this is taught well enough or uh, stressed enough in textbooks, okay? Now, it is taught, but I think it's a little trivial detail, but it's a, a, a situation that comes up quite frequently. Uh, so if you're confused about it, I'm going to clear it up right now. Okay, so the way the order of operations actually works is after you do parentheses and then exponents, you're going to do any multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so in this particular problem right here, we have division and multiplication. What do we see first from left to right? We see the division first. Okay, that's why we do this, 10 divided by 2, which, of course, is 5. Now there's only one left, uh, one operation left to do, which, of course, is multiplication. So that's why the answer is 25. Okay, so addition and subtraction work the same way. It's whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so uh, we went over the order of operations. I told you that the square root of a number is the same thing as taking that number to the one-half power. So hopefully, you have everything you need to know to solve this problem. But uh, before I actually solve the problem, let's take a look at how we can get this wrong in our calculator. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I plugged this into my calculator, and I got 8. 
Well, that's because you plugged it into your calculator incorrectly, all right? Now, it does depend on what type of calculator that you are using, but in general, when you type in this problem into a simple calculator, it's going to look something like this, okay? This is what you're gonna see in your screen. So you're gonna type in the square root of 64, and then you're gonna hit the division sign, and in most calculators, you're probably gonna come up with a little uh, forward slash, which, mean, which means division, right? Then you'll type in a one, okay, here's our one, and then we're gonna type in this uh, division uh, sign right here, because we have a fraction, so this is this right here, and then we'll type in a two, and then we're gonna type in a multiplication operator, and then we're gonna type in a two. So if you're like, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, let me get my calculator out and type it in myself. Well, go ahead and do this and see if you come up with something like this in your uh, screen. You probably are. Okay, so what does this problem actually mean? Okay, we, we wanna type in this problem, which is what? Well, this is the square root of 64 divided by one half times two. This is what we want to type in, but when we actually plug in the numbers and the mathematical operators into our calculator, we actually typed in the wrong problem. Okay, what we actually did here is typed in this problem. This is the square root of 64 divided by 1. Okay, and this is, of course, going to be divided by 2. All right, so now we have the uh, square root of 64 divided by 2 times 2. That's not the problem that we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out the square root of 64 divided by one half times two. Now I'm gonna show you um, how to correct this, but let's go ahead and, and take a look at how, how your calculator is going to do this problem. So your calculator is like, oh yes, I get this now. Uh, and it's gonna follow PEMDAS, the order of operations. So it's going to do what first? Well, it's gonna do exponents, right? So let's just write this PEMDAS down here. So are there any parentheses? No. Do we have any exponents? Yes, okay, because the square root of 64 is the same thing as 64 to the one half power. So your calculator is going to do that first. So the square root of 64 is eight. So now we have eight divided by two times two. So uh, your calculator is gonna say, all right, I have multiplication and division. I'm going to do the division first because that's what uh, comes first from left to right. So eight divided by two is four. Four times two is eight. So this is why you get the answer of eight in your calculator, because when you typed in the numbers, you typed in the wrong problem. So to actually type this in correctly, what you need to do is put the one half in parentheses, right? So this is a very common problem. And it's a good reminder that just because you have a calculator, if you don't understand how to use it, you will get wrong answers when you think you are typing in a problem correctly. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the full solution in just one second, but first I'm gonna show you this, which is an invitation to support this YouTube channel. Now, the number one reason I am on YouTube is to really try to encourage people to stick with mathematics, and I really try to make math uh, clear, understandable, and interesting. But as a math teacher, I'm trying to grow my audience as to, you know as big as possible because I want to reach as many people as possible. So to do that on YouTube, I need your support, and uh, the best way to support this channel uh, this channel is to simply hit that subscribe button. Okay, and if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you really want to learn math from me, then check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And what we're talking about here is basic math. So you may want to check out like my math foundations or my uh, math skills rebuilder course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. So here is our problem, okay? And we're gonna do this without a calculator. Again, if you wanna plug this into your calculator, you gotta be very explicit and uh, put this fraction uh, in parentheses, right? So anytime you have fractions, uh, in a problem and you wanna use your calculator, make sure you put those in a grouping symbol so your calculator is not confused. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is the square root of 64, right? So we don't have any parentheses. Do we have any exponents? Yes, because the square root of 64 is the same thing as 64 to the one half power. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do first. So the square root of 64, of course, is eight. All right, so now we have eight divided by one half times two. 
So we're thinking about this PEMDAS, right? So we're going to go back up to our PEMDAS, and we took care of any exponents. Do we have any multiplication and division? Yes, we do. So we're going to uh, do whatever we see first from left to right, which, of course, is going to be what? Well, we have to take care of the division, right? So we have division here, multiplication here. So we're going to have to do the division first because that's what we see uh, first from left to uh, right. Okay, so we have 8 divided by 1 half. So what's 8 divided by 1 half? Well, you need to know how to divide fractions. And the way we divide fractions is we flip this fraction to the right of the division side uh, upside down. Okay, so we have 1 half. So the reciprocal of 1 half, or what happens when we flip it upside down, we're going to get 2 over 1, right? So we're going to put the denominator in the numerator position and the numerator down in the denominator position. So we're going to turn this into a multiplication problem by flipping the fraction to the right of the division sign. Okay, so that's going to give us 8 times 2, or 8 times 2 over 1, and 8 times 2, of course, is 16. All right, so we're almost done because uh, the only thing that we're left to do here uh, that is left to do, excuse me, is multiplication, right? So 8 divided by 1 half is 16, and 16 times 2 is 32. Okay, now if you understood all these steps, well, congratulations. But if you got something wrong here, well, congratulations for finding this video. So learning math is all about trial and error, right? So never feel bad about getting uh, a math problem wrong. The key is uh, to kind of really build up your skills, um, really strengthen your kind of foundational basic math skills. I guess that's what I really wanted to say because I think a lot of people assume or you know think they know basic math you know uh, better than they actually do. Right? There is a lot to know in arithmetic and kind of uh, basic mathematics, and this is critical for your success in courses like algebra. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.